Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I got some happy mail that I want to share with you. My so what box, but I didn't just get one. I got two. <laughs> so let's get these open and see what's inside. So I want to start off by saying I apologize. My down camera is not working right now to be able to show you these boxes from that angle. So I'm going to hold everything up. So just bear with me. <laughs> The reason why I have two boxes is because So What is a project box. Every month they send you a project if you sign up for the project box and it's all pre-cut and ready to go and then you get a little extras in there like some extra fabric and stuff like that. But the So What box has now come out with a fabric only box. So each month is themed. This month I believe it's black, which perfect just in time for Halloween if you love Halloween or the fall. So let's get these open. Um, I'm going to start, I'm not sure what I'm going to start with. I'm going to open this one and see what's inside. And it looks like this is the fabric box. Oop, ah, flying stuff. So this is what it's going to look like if you get the fabric box. It says so black and it says flip for details. So let's see what's on the back. So um, there is a printed pattern in the back of here. 100% cotton fabric, so it's talking about that. And also on the back of here um, is the code to access their video vault because she has uh, videos for all of her uh, patterns, tutorials. So that's really nice to have. Um, there's been a couple of the projects where I was a little bit confused on, so I looked because the directions weren't exactly clear, which, but I looked at the video and it cleared it right up. So those are really, really nice. Those are for members only, so I'm not gonna flip the card over and show you the code but um, you get that in with your box as well. And let's see what's in here. So this one comes with a pattern for a kitchen appliance cover. So like a toaster or something like that. It also has a pocket on the outside for utensils. I could see maybe making this for a small sewing machine. It's not a very large one. It wouldn't fit my machine here because this is a really big machine but it would definitely fit one of my smaller machines. So you could use it for that too, or even my featherweight. So let's take a look at this fabric. It's definitely all black <laughs> or very black. This one is like a creepy forest <laughs> or a spooky forest in the fall, but kind of a really neat blender. So there's that one. Ooh, I like this one. I like that last one too. It's just definitely very Halloween themed. <laughs> This one's just a black blender, which is nice. I don't have a lot of black in my stash. I don't know why, but I tend to not, I tend to not think about grabbing for black, although I love black because I've done a few batik quilts that were brightly colored and used black as a background and it made them really pop. So um, I don't know why I don't think of it more. This is just a solid piece of black and I don't know what fabric company she got this from, but it's super soft. like. It feels almost like art gallery fabric, although there's no salvage on it, but it's really, really soft black. So I like that. Oh, this next piece is really cute. I think it's supposed to rep represent like pumpkin spice donuts, <laughs> but it's got pumpkins and fall leaves and donuts on it. I love pumpkins. They're one of my favorite um, fall decorations. So I'm excited to have that. Now this next fabric is black background, but it did come in our yellow box too. So um, I'm kind of a little confused why we got it again, but that's okay. It's definitely fits the fall colors and it's got the black background. So it definitely fits. Oh, this next one is really nice. I like this one. This is a black blender with polka dots. Almost looks like grunge, but I know it's not grunge, but similar to that, that modeled look, but it's got dots on it. And then we've got a few that are not black that are blenders that go well with black. So we've got this little kind of crosshatch one. And then we've got this gray one that looks like marble. And then there is this gray one. Let me get it closer with the little dot thingies, dash thingies. Not really dots, they're kind of dashes. And then the last one is a black with a white polka dot, which I always love dots, polka dots like this. So um, 
that is awesome so great fabrics i'm really excited by these that solid black i'd love to know what brand that is because it's really really soft um i love soft fabrics i get really excited this one's probably my favorite out of the whole box just because i love pumpkins so much and then this is a really close second because it's super soft i just wish i knew what brand it was <laughs> so i could buy more because it's really really nice it's so soft okay so that's the pile of fabric so i'm going to put all that back in the box and she may even have somewhere a list of the fabrics i'm not seeing it right off hand um maybe if i go on the website or whatever but that's a good box so let's get the next one open this is the project box and i believe the theme for this one was also black i think they're the same yep so black there's that and it's talking about the extra fabric bundle um let's see it says two different things so i think this might be a misprint it says sewing machine organizer pre-cut project kit but then the picture of the project is a mixer appliance cover which i would like because i have one of those stand mixers which i love and i do have a cover on it but it needs to come off and get washed so it'd be nice to have a second one um and then they're talking about the Facebook community because she's got a Facebook group, the So What box, if you want to check that out. And then the members only uh, video and tutorial. Okay. So this is the extra bundle, which is that, that polka dot fabric again. And then this one's really cute for cat lovers. Kitty cats. Seely. <laughs> I always think of Celie when I see cat stuff because I know how much she likes cats. Okay, so we did get the same pattern again as the fabric box. So if you're getting the project box, you might get some duplicates. We got the kitchen appliance cover, which like I said, could cover a toaster or something. And we did in fact get the mixer appliance cover. And I will take this out and show you guys. These are the ones that come pre-cut and everything you need. So I'm not sure what the showing, sewing machine organizer pre-cut project, I think that might've been a misprint um, from another month. It might've just got on top of there by accident. So that's okay. Mistakes happen. I make them, we all make them, we're human. Um, so let's get this open. Okay, it says prep time, two minutes, creation time, 90 minutes. And I like that they, let me take the plastic off because it's shiny. I like that they give you that information. Um, I have found that this estimate seems to be high now I can see why they would put it higher for maybe a newer person to sewing I seem to get them done in quite a bit of less time like one of them said 40 minutes and I had it done in 20 minutes and one said an hour and I had it done in a half hour so it just I think depends on how fast you sew and if you've made something like this before obviously if you've made something similar you probably you know know what to do a lot quicker than others of us who have not made this now I've never made one of these before so it might take me the whole 90 minutes the one thing that I like is all the instructions, I'm going to cover this up because that's the code for the website to get on there and get the tutorial are printed on the back and then the tutorial link, but then everything comes all pre-cut and let me show you this. I'm going to take it all out. So it feels like this material is like a canvasy cotton material, which I like. It's a little thicker, but as you can see, like it's all pre-cut. There's two pieces. The curve is all done for us. Here's another piece. I do like this green, it's pretty. It's like Christ very Christmassy. I could see making this and putting it on my mixer during the holiday season. And another piece, which I'm thinking is gonna be the main like body of it that goes over the mixer. And then what looks like binding. Oop, miss, dropped some. <laughs> some binding in black. And then she gave us some Guterman polyester thread and that's your choice to use polyester. I don't use polyester in my projects, especially when it's something that I'm gonna wash and dry. I'd rather use cotton because polyester can melt or you know bunch up when it gets hot, that kind of thing. So, But they always send matching thread and they also give us some pins every month. So that's the project. I really love it. I actually am really excited to make this because like I said, I do have a stand mixer just like this. Um, a KitchenAid because they even show a KitchenAid sand mixer under there. So yay, I'm excited. This is a really good project. So between the fabric box and the project box, they got some good stuff this month. 
I do get this box for review, but the opinions are my own. And as you are seeing it, I am seeing it for the first time. So you're seeing my real opinion. <laughs> I do like this project. There has been other projects in the past that I didn't like, and it's just because it's stuff that I wouldn't use, like a fanny pack and things like that. But I did make, I have made several of their projects, and I really like them. And like I said, I love that everything comes pre-cut. All you have to do is open it and sit down and sew. <laughs> so I'm excited for this one, because like I said, I have a cover on mine, but it needs to be washed. So after I make this, I will have another cover for it, and then I can wash the other one. So that's that. All right. Well, that was the so what box, <laughs> the fabric box and the project box. If you're interested in either of these, I do have an affiliate link down below. Clicking on that link doesn't get me anything other than you telling them that you saw it right here, which I really appreciate. Um, cause then I keep getting it to show you. All right, guys, we'll take care. And it, like I said, if you're interested, click that link and I will see you soon. Bye.